everybody, Cody Meyer here, FLW Tour Pro. And I wanna show you guys a couple different ways I like to fish a drop shot uh, to really imitate shad. And you know, everyone kinda assumes a drop shot, you know, just using standard worms. But really, when I get on a shad bite, it's really key to, uh, to have a couple shad imitation baits. You know, the first style I'm just gonna use, you know, something like this Strike King 4-inch Ocho in the shad color. And uh, I'm gonna use a typical nose hook on the drop shot and the wacky rig. And uh, that's always gonna work. But one of the other things I like to do with this bait, you know, let's say the fish are suspended. You know, fish are suspended for a reason. They're out either chasing shad or they're really highly pressured. And uh, what I like to do, I'll take my drop shot rig here. I like to use a real lightweight, like an eighth ounce. I'm gonna take a owner mosquito hook. This is a number two. And I'm gonna nose hook this just like that. And I'm gonna cast out there. And uh, as soon as the bait will hit the water, I'm gonna click the bail. And let's say the fish are suspended down to 10 feet. I'm gonna click the bail and I'm gonna let this thing pendulum swing through the water. So it's just gonna be gliding through the water just like this. I'm gonna cast it out, like I said, click the bail on a semi-tight line. I'm gonna shake it all the way back to the boat and just visualize this thing coming back through the water column, through those suspended fish that are really highly pressured and you're gonna catch a lot more fish. Again, it's with the lighter weight, a shad imitation bait, and it's gonna be deadly on those suspended fish. The other shad imitation I like to do is I like to take something like this, this uh, little swimming shad here from Strike King, it's a little four inch. Uh, you can see it's a white bait, a little paddle tail. I'm gonna nose hook it again, just like that. I'm gonna use a little bit heavier of a weight, uh, maybe a quarter ounce to a three eighths ounce on the drop shot, and I'm gonna fish this thing along current. So let's say you're fishing, they're smallmouth, they're spotted bass, they're in current. I'm gonna throw it out there and I'm gonna let the weight hit the bottom. And all I'm gonna do is slowly reel the bait in and just keep bottom contact with the weight. That's why you want a little bit heavier. So visualize this bait coming down, swimming. Uh, this tail is gonna constantly be kicking because you're swimming it in. You know, it's gonna be going up and down over rocks. It's gonna keep it, you know, however long your leader is, 12 inches or so above the bottom. And it's a deadly way to catch some of those bigger fish. And you're gonna keep the bait in the strike zone a lot longer. So. Next time you guys are out, you know, and you're you're on that shad pattern, make sure you guys check out a couple ways to fish a drop shot to put more fish in the boat for you.